Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vandy Hustle, back again with another LBX Little Battlers Experience videos. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and let's come on start, shall we? In the last one, we end up getting a new LBX for Kaz over his gladiator, which is Hunter, the sniper LBX. Or, to be in this case, I think it's a wild frame. And this time, we're going to go over all the different frames. It's everything I promised in the last episode we're going to do now because I was confused about how story works in this game. So, yeah, that's all we're pretty much going to do. It's just going to be us fucking around. There's going to be no story advancement whatsoever. So, let us go ahead and swap up Hunter first because I actually want to show this off because Hunter is an amazing LBX. It's one of my favorites. It's a sniper LBX. Basically, well, not really. Actually, we never actually checked Kaz's um, bio now that I think about it. So, let's quickly check Kaz's bio. Um, let's go status. Let's see, Vance friend, uh, going to the same school but in different classes, comes off as a bit rough around the edges but he's a really good guy, shows courage when his friends need his help, gets a chance gauge rate bonus when his LBX is using two-handed guns, such as a sniper rifle, and what is Hunter using right? A sniper rifle. So, yeah, that's pretty much all. I'm actually not going to show him off in a single battle, I'm going to show him off in a double battle because that's kind of like where I use him best at. Downloads, we can definitely do downloads now. Actually, we already did downloads and that's how we got the, uh, you know, those, um, what's it called? I'm trying to think of what it's called. The, uh, the uh, capsule machine. There we go. The capsule machine. Uh, that's how we got the access to those. So, yeah, now we're just going to do a bunch of quests, and we're going to do some fights along the way to show off Hunter's capabilities. We'll start off with this one. Big Bane Battler. I love events that fireworks display festivals. That sort of thing. They've got to start with a bang. That's really crucial, and that's why I need some help. Come speak to me, okay? Yep, so we need to go to Kai Middle School's second floor, I think it is. So we're going to the middle school again. But while we're going to the middle school, we're actually going to take on an opponent because I really need to show off Kaz's capabilities as a sniper. Because, believe it or not, Kaz is actually a very cool, like, I guess character. He's one of my favorite characters for a reason. This is the moment where I actually begin to like him. Because, well, he, yes, he is rough around the edges. He definitely gets a cool LBX, and I like it a lot. Like, I love Hunter. It is literally one of my favorite LBXs, and yeah, so let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, get down to business and discuss what we need to, or like, I guess, start discussing the main things. So, first up, we'll talk about frames. Last time, while Cavs was trying to pick an LBX, I didn't realize this was a 2L1. Well, that was an accident. <laughs> I, I guess we're going to show off what Cavs does, um, but anyways... So here's how you use a sniper rifle. You go to the attack button, but it doesn't attack immediately. Instead, you get a lock on the, the opponent. Also, if you get hit while you have your sniper rifle, it will go out. The uh, meteor will knock you out of immediately. God damn it. Okay, fire. And the... Oh, okay, that's not good. That's not good. Don't worry, there's a sniper spot I can get away with this. I just gotta wait for him. Okay. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Well, I lost. That was me being... That was me being stupid. I, uh, I could have done it. I actually could have done it. There was a spot to watch. I'm gonna do it. I'm so upset now because I always try to play this game like a completionist while I go until like I try to not lose at all. Watch, it's gonna be my one loss the entire let's play, and that's because I was stupid. Here, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus down on the uh this boy. Oh my god, now he moves. Boy, no, don't do this. Okay, stare him down. There we go. Instant kill. This guy's too stupid to realize I'm shooting at him. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, just missed him. Anyways, uh, where was I going with this? Actually, wait, no. Before I do that, you see that green thing right there? That's a chance gauge filler. I talked about before how uh, every place has an item, basically. Or, like, a lot of matches will get items spawned into the game. And, um, you know, that's one of them. They do a lot of different things. The most common one you'll see, in my opinion, is the battery-based one, where it just increases your LBX's battery in battle. There's the chance gauge one, as you see, which that one will fill up your chance gauge by one. There is the... There's, like, this weird blue thing, which I think raises your LBX performance. I don't know if it raises your attack and defense, but I definitely know it raises your speed. And then there's the, um... And then there's the health one, which, as you can guess, raises your health, so... That's basically what that's for. I just remembered why I went to the shop in the first place, and I should probably go back unless I have the item on me. Because I know what this quest requires. Do I have it? I don't, but I don't remember exactly what it is, so I'm just going to go ask, her, uh, ask Kai anyways and see what I need. Anyways, 
onto the frames, which is like the important part here. So the frames are different in the sense that I've gone over some of them, but let's just discuss them again. Strider. So I don't really know what the camera glitched on, but I just know it glitched. Anyways, we need to go get three grenade S's for K, for K. And I was speeding through their dialogue. And if you want to know how I know this, well, outside of I've done this quest before, is because after you submit each part of a quest, you can go to the quest board again, and you'll basically get an updated response on what you need. So this time, uh, it tells you that she needs three grenade S's, and we can buy them from any shop, even though it literally says all the shops are out of stock, which I don't know why. But let's go ahead and do that. Anyways, onto what I was saying before. Uh, Strata frames are very quick. They are have they have the weakest defense definitely, and they are pretty much specialized in hit and run attacks for a lot of them. So you gotta be really careful when using a Strider frame like that. As for Brawler flames, and by the way, Strider frames are like Amazon or Amy's Kunoichi, for example. They are very skinny. They, like I said earlier, are very uh, quick, but they focus on hit and run attacks, and they will die very quickly to an all-out close range battle. But frames like Brawler frames, such as what Mika said last time, Hans's Destroyer, the Lord of Destruction. Um, those are basically focused on. They're, they're slower, definitely, but they can handle heavier weapons, and they are a lot stronger. Not saying, like, weapon handling is debatable on what LBX you're using, but, like, you know, um, sir, barrel frames are basically strong with them. And tank frames, they are... And they're all, barrel frames are also the tankier frames, as I gotta say, despite the fact, you know, there's literally a frame called tank frame. But, as for, oh my god, oh no, I can't afford them. So I only need three of them, I don't need six of them. So... That's basically what brawler frames are. Tank frames are kind of similar in the sense that they're tanky. They are slower, but the difference is they have wheels. That's not even me fucking with you. Every tank frame has wheels. Like, Bulldoze, for example, it's a tank frame. I don't know why Gabe kept saying it was a tank frame. I mean, sorry, I don't know why Gabe just saying, uh, Kaz, get a Bulldoze, get a Bulldoze. No, get a tank frame, not a Bulldoze specifically, which Kaz did neither. And yeah, you can always tell by the wheels. If it has wheels, it's a tank frame. And instantly a tank frame. Or at least I think it's a tank frame if it has wheels. But that's pretty much what they are. They're still pretty tanky. They're, the LBX you'll see have more heavy weapons, really. As for um, night frames, for example, I don't really know the distinction between night frames and wild frames. Because Hunter is a wild frame. Uh, Achilles is a night frame. I don't really know what to say about... Um, Oh yeah, we're handing with three grenade, ah, three grenade S's. Let's see what she gives us. It's money, right? We got three thousand credits. Okay, not as much as the first one, but not as, but not horrible. Anyways, let's uh, see where we'll get for quest number two over here, which is rumor monger. Uh, so many rumors going around. Oh, I forgot about this one. So we're going to Paris on the middle floor, apparently. So whatever. Uh, where was I going with this? Right. I don't really know the distinction between night frames and wild frames. In my mind, a night frame is a frame that's like, um, well, a night frame and a wild frame are frames that are like, they are like the most balanced of their category, respective categories. Like, they're kind of like, I guess night frames are more defensive, uh, wild frames are more aggressive out of the two frames. I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, we're on to our next quest, Rumor Monger, which is this one. The world is filled up with so much exciting gossip. I happen to overhear some about super rare being giving away uh, at the free of the station. What is it? Uh oh no. I see you've gotten curious about it too. That's perfect. You go there and see what it is. Weirdly enough, we'll get an item for this. I don't believe why, but like, whatever. So, that's pretty much like all there is about the frames. I can't really tell you much, but we can go to the LBX guide menu, which I can finally show off. Uh, what does it say? LBX guide lets you view encyclopedias of all weapons, shield, and LBX you've collected, so let's try. The last section is for LBX cards. So, uh, AX00, for example. An unidentifiable LBX given to Van by a mysterious woman. It is unknown. We have Achilles. It is also unknown. AX00's mysterious new exo armor frame dubbed Achilles. Hunter, though, that was made to support Achilles. Long-ranged LBX. It was designed by the enigmatic J. Also unknown. So... Basically, it's just an encyclopedia of all the LBXs. If you have acquired their pieces, you'll get some information down there. I think if you acquired any of their pieces, you'll get their information down there. Because I definitely don't have all the destroyer parts, but I still have one of them. And, um, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, a unique model built by Pathis Motors. Actually, now that I think about it, I just had some weird, like, thoughts about all of the LBXs. And now I'm actually starting to question it. Because my thing is, 
I know a lot more of the story, obviously, than probably most of the people watching this Let's Play are. If you're new to LBX, if you're not, then you know it. But now I'm starting to have thoughts, and maybe it's just me never connecting the dots before, but now I'm starting to wonder something. But I'll keep it to myself because it's a massive spoiler if I do say it now, so I'll just have to wait it out. But we are going to the station, not to advance the story, but because the quest forced us to come here. But if we go to this woman right here, she will talk about something. Please take one. They're free. It's a part of our promotional campaign. Get a runny nose? Need to wipe your tears of joy before they ruin your makeup? Try our pocket tissues. There you are. Pocket tissues. We're getting pocket tissues for free. Do you even realize how lucky you are to own a packet of these extraordinary pocket tissues? They're really the softest in the world. You'd think they're made of silk. I, and I know what I'm saying. I've been a promotional tissue distributor for years, working in dozens of countries. Never have I seen a finer ones. What an honor to be giving out such free samples of such luxurious tissues. Oh yeah! Be sure to spread the word about your, our wonderful tissues to your friends and family. Tissues are a big issue. Only the best. Cheerio! What? Okay, so apparently pocket tissues are the next big thing, everyone. You heard it here first. Pocket tissues are going to be the next big thing. So go ahead, stockpile on that and not toilet paper. What the fuck was that line? Tissues are a big issue. That And then Cheerio, the most British statement ever. I know this game was localized by, like, the... Uh, from level five, which I think is based, or like the Europe, the Europe based level five, maybe. But like, I don't really know who. Uh, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was level five that uh, translated this. But at the same time, I don't fucking know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Uh, yes, I'll hand over the tissues for some reason, but like that. I, I just don't. Anyways, hand over the item. Yeah, I want to hand over the item. Oh wow, what's this? Hand over pocket tissues. So these are the pocket tissues. Um, so these are rare, I guess. Wait a second, who did you get these from? Oh, that must have been the legendary tissue promoter. Look, there's a sticker on them with her logo. I thought she was just an urban legend. Now I wish I had gone to the station myself rather than send you. At least I found out the other rumor I chased was up was true. I went to the music room after class and, disco and discovered that boys from the soccer club were using it as their secret hangout place. I was expecting to witness a secret tea ceremony, not a bunch of guys hanging out. But still, rumor verified. I'd love to chat with you more, but there are more rumors for me to investigate. I'd better get going. I heard on the grapevine that there are LBX in, that there's an LBX cemetery right under East Pacific Middle School's schoolyard. How spooky is that? Ah, shucks, I almost forgot to give you a reward. Here, um, you can have these pocket tissues. I just... Why did I come back and give them to you then? Okay, okay, I'll give you a proper reward. Sheesh. Thank you, at least. Oh, Dragon Lance! Oh, Dragoon Lance! That's actually really good, because that's a special lance. That does fire damage, believe it or not. Let us just quickly click on it and prove my point. So if we go to Achilles, because that's the only one I'm going to give into Lance Weapon to, and we give them the Dragon Lance, look at it. It does fire damage. I mean, I don't know how I can prove it does fire damage. Basically, here's my way of proving if something has effect damage or not. If it is the color of what damage it could do, that's probably what it is. Most of the time, if it's not... If it's a special color that isn't black, white, or gray, it probably has a special effect. That is very, like, stereotypical of the color, but to be fair, that is genuinely what it is. So, instead, let's go to our next one, Arrival. I think I might just not do all these quests in this episode, because it's going to kill me if I have to stand up this whole time. And with the amount of times I have to actively stop my camera, because apparently it has glitched three times already. I, I don't know if I need to really trust my camera anymore. So this might be the last quest I do for this episode, but pretty much just imagine all these quests. They're not really that hard. Um, I might actually just put in the description how to do all the quests, frankly, because that's just what it is. Or I might just start doing the quests that I actually care about, because to be fair with you, only few of these quests I care about, and I should probably only be targeting ones that have money, arrival. Which one was that? Was it the one? I know it's in this place. I don't know who it was, though. If it was... No, this was Mother and Son, right? Yeah, okay, so in that case, I know where Arrival is. It should be right up here. Right? It's this guy, I think. It's not? What? Where's Arrival, then? Oh, wait, is this at the train station? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Dennis! Dennis! I forgot about Dennis. I'm dumb. I know where he is. I know where he is. I know which one is Dennis. I, I should have checked the name, because I will immediately... Like, I... Despite the fact I don't really care for these NPCs and I can't name them off the top of my head, 
For some reason, if you tell me their name, I'm like, oh, it's that guy from so-and-so. Like, for example, the guy we just talked to in the um, shopping area was called Hector. And I don't know why, but like, even though he does have a quest here and I rarely do it, I do just remember his name is Hector, but Dennis in particular. Oh, I love talking to Dennis, his sure self. Well, then I've got news for you. You've walked right into my trap. Ha ha ha. I'm an LBX pro. And I, am lo and I like nothing better than giving a beating to a newbie in a battle that I can't win. Um... Okay, asshole. Like, okay, we didn't read his post, but basically it says he's a newbie and he wanted to, like, have someone to fight against, but really he just wanted to beat someone to the ground that was a newbie that he knew he could beat them, which is just sad, but whatever. I don't mind putting this guy in his place. He deserves this. Like, don't really know what to say from here. Okay, let's start shooting. Okay, come on. Oh, I forgot. I can't hit the A button. Right, that's another thing I forgot to mention with sniper rifles. Um, you can't really, um... Well, that's easy. Yeah, this is why this is one of my favorite fields, by the way. I just sit on Hunter Sniper, and then I can just murder stuff. But, basically, the reason why I, um... The, uh, snipers, you can't, like, dash while you're using them. So you're kind of just stuck in a position, and to back out of it, you have to click B. Which is why I lost earlier! Again, that wasn't even me, like, being stupid. That was genuinely just, I can't move my 3DS. Like, if I could move my 3DS, I tell you, I would have reacted so quickly to it. I could have shot... Oh, we got a shiny metal. That's actually really good. Uh, I could I could have shot, jumped, dashed to my spot that I sniped from, and then shot again. Literally, I can move so quickly if I was allowed to move my 3DS. You have no idea how fast I can move. But I have to keep it this way, because otherwise crop doesn't happen, and then... A lot of shit goes down. Um, I probably will go for 20 minutes, actually, just because I can and I will. So let's check out what more quests we have. I'm going to do some more battle quests just because those are the easier ones to accomplish. Um, noob Defender, he needs shield. Well, I'm already here, though. So let's go with... Help me... Nope, not this one. Uh, mother and Son. And then, basically, I'll just explain it. Like, half of these are battle quests. They're all really easy. None of them are particularly hard. If you want a quick way to level up, come here. To be fair with you, I probably should be swapping in between Kaz, Amy, and Van. Just so they can level up their weapons quicker and more respectively. But, uh, where's the fun in that? That. In fact, we're actually about to get a new map. And that's actually something that, that I just thought about, too. Um, when you battle an LBX, you can actually get very interesting maps. Like, for example, I think every map has, um... I guess, like, every main map has a sub-map. Like, for example, this Desert Oasis, it looks kind of similar to the, or at least area-wise, it looks extremely similar to the one that we just fought Pharaoh in. And that's true. There are multiple like that. Like, there's a lava battlefield that has two different maps. I clicked A again, thinking there was attack for some reason. Okay, Petunia. And... There we go. Didn't even need to move that time. That's how you can be an accurate sniper. Yeah, uh, never move with Hunter, to be fair with you. Like, Hunter is genuinely one of the best OBX just from the early game. You just snipe, you don't even have to fucking move. The game's on autopilot at that point, and all you have to do is click buttons. So, yeah, it's it's easy. It's frankly, like, the easiest way I can play this game. Yeah, it actually is the easiest way, because with dual pistols, you have a chance of missing. You have to constantly run around. The sniper rifle, granted, while it will take its time readjusting, it readjusts on its own, so that's easy. Um... We're gonna go into Achilles, though, just because I can and I will, so I can keep uh, everyone's level gaining equal. So, we're gonna go to Quest, and let's do two more. We'll go the final... Actually, no, the final ticket... Well, actually, no, the final ticket is decently hard. It's not really that difficult. By the way, the stars represent how hard it was, if that wasn't clear, but, um... As much as I don't care for this, actually, no, I do care for its reward, and I'm gonna show it on screen, because, like, it's the longest task you will get in this point in the game. It's not difficult. It's really not, but, like, you know, it's there. You can use it to get stuff. Uh, who was it that I have to talk to? If I could get past here, I'd be greatly appreciated. Okay, this guy, right? Yep. Oh, you're here by my quest board post, aren't you? Did you know... Did you know that the convenience store is having an LBX fair right now? There's a running competition of the moment. I need a store receipt. If you collect enough, you can win an audience with a certain LBX celebrity from Tiny Orbit. Then the celebrity teaches you how to tune up your LBX and battle with it. Doesn't that sound amazing? Well, I guess that's the case. Specific shopping center in the residential area. If you, but if you manage to find you anywhere. Now, here's my thing. I don't know if you have to check those places specifically, but I know where his ticket is. So, I'm gonna go grab it real quickly. I hope I didn't just, like, knock my computer off charge. Okay, thank God I didn't. But, um, anyways, 
Why would you have a celebrity teach you how to play? I never understood the point of those things in like animes or TV shows where you have a celebrity do the thing for you and frankly you could either just learn on your own or learn with your friend. Like, I guess my main thing is, and I know even though I'm playing OBX, I shouldn't really be bringing up another game, but like Hard Fight Vanguard, how they have the event where you get screwed over by an opponent's unit specifically, like where you play against the idols and uh, they win. Is it not here? Oh, no, it is here. Yep, the store receipt's right here. You'd have to come all the way here. He tells you the specific shopping center. That kid's a fucking liar. It's not anywhere near there. And I remember the first time I did this, I had to figure it out. Maybe I just missed a piece of dialogue, but I swear he never said the school. Anyways, that's where you have to go to find it. And back to my story about the Vanguard thing. So, I never understood why people like that so much. Like, getting uh, attacked at the end by one a, a specific unit from an idol weird kinky shit all i'm gonna say is what people have i don't understand this at all like the point of um i guess learning from a celebrity when you could just learn on your own but whatever what do we get from him i, I just saw something times three was that a shiny metal times three well either way he's our second to last quest for the day and the last quest i'm gonna choose to fulfill will be noob defender actually we could do lost proper wait no not lost property, but here's the funny thing though. If you actually pay um, close attention in the quest you do, not now, but there will be later quests that you could use the previous quest rewards to fix it. Like for example, the Dragoon Lance we got earlier for Rumor Monger, you can actually use that in a um, later quest as a, an item that you can give to someone, which is fun. You know, you don't have to waste your time getting money for it. I mean, if you want to get another one, you have to buy it. You have to buy it so you can uh, keep one that you get and then give away the other one. But it's good that you basically get free weapons, and then they uh, give you the, basically the free cost of the you need. Oh, I didn't realize he was the guy I had to talk to. Leo! He needs a shield because he and his friends started playing LBX at the same time, but his friend keeps beating him because his friend's far more aggressive. We just started at the same time, and we only ever practiced together, and he's managed to get so much better than me. I've been thinking long and hard about it, and I've come up with what I think I've been missing. My LBX doesn't have a shield. Well, that probably is it. If he has a shield too, I don't know why you didn't figure this out sooner. Now, but, so, now I'm making, thinking about getting a light buckler. If you happen to have a spare light buckler, but you're not using it, would you mind giving it to me? I don't know why he can't just buy a light buckler, considering the reward he gives you for this is much enough to buy a light buckler on his own, but whatever. Here you go, light buckler for free. Ah, so this is the fabled light buckler. You know, I've only ever seen these in LBX magazines before. Literally, Kaz's LBX came with a light buckler! I see. If I equip this shield, then I can defend against incoming attacks. Thanks. I'm sure I'll need practice with it, but I think this solves my problems. Now I should be able to keep up with my friend. I want you to have these as thanks for bringing me the light buckler. If I ever need anything else from you now, I know who to call. <gasps> that was enough to buy a light buckler! Okay, I'll take six grand. That works for me. Well, I know where I'm spending this all on, and that's basically how we're going to end the episode. Not with that quest. And I will do the, um... I don't know if I'm going to do the remaining quest off screen or not, or if I'm just going to leave them there for like a whole big quest episode. But to be fair with you, actually, no, I am probably going to do the rest of the quest, but on a like a separate part of this recording. So like I do my normal thing and then I do the rest of the quest. So what we're going to do before I um, end off this episode in my mind, whether I continue this on like a separate point or not, so be it. But um, in case I don't, because this is how I like to spend my quest money. Let us see if I can get another Achilles part. I will take an Achilles part, a Chiron Spear, and an Atlas Shield. Damn. Well, I got an Achilles right arm, so that's fine. Like, genuinely, Chiron Spear and Atlas Shield are the hardest drops in there, because they are really good items. So, without further- actually, wait, no, I forgot I had medals. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck what I just said. Let's sell medals. Let's see where we get with this. Um sell all of these because frankly to be fair with you i don't need anything that the shop gives you because the shop item and core unit wise they pretty much give you everything you get for free like i'm not even joking with you with how the game works you can effectively just waste all your money on this and you'd be fine so without further ado i will keep going until i hopefully see an achilles part that i don't have okay fuck you can i get a left leg and can i get the legs the chest and the head Oh, come on, really? I'm trying to get the freaking... At least give me the body parts I don't have. Thank you. I got the head. Can I get the chest at least? Oh, the tiger tail. Okay, that's a pretty good core unit. Doing more quests. I don't know if I'm actually going to cut that or not. Okay, anyways. So, 
A little bit I did off screen was I did some training. Typically at this point I like to get my uh, levels up to level 20 because to be fair, if you were to go with like the way the game wants you to grind, I am already over leveled for the next two episodes or like the next two chapters, whatever we call it. So I chose to get to level 20 because it doesn't matter what level you are here. All that matters is your LBX parts level because that determines health, power, etc. Which is why I got the Achilles 2 armor. How do I make it so that I can get rid of the info bar? I can't. But here's Achilles 2. This is like, um, how do I describe it? This is just Achilles, oh, there it is. Uh, this is just Achilles Evolve form that I got from those capsule machines. I'm not gonna use it outside of grinding so I can keep my Achilles armor on equal footing with the other armors because um, I do genuinely not want to cheat to win. So while I did get the armor for my own personal use, I'm not going to use it in story matches unless people want me to use it. But if you want to know how to do it, um, go to that capsule machine like I was doing earlier, and you just got to keep going until you get the pieces for it. And the same for Konoichi need the evolve form of Konoichi in Hunter 2, and like basically all the main LBX you will get, you can get their evolve forms there. And that's what I did. Like I said, this is going to stay there, but I just want to show that off. It has a lot more health, but your level going up, that doesn't really change much for you, except how many core units you can actually obtain at once. And what I mean by that is, look at this. You see, earlier, our core unit was a lot smaller, probably about the size of a small box, but now it's ever so slightly more expanded, and now we can um, use more... Um, I guess core unit, uh, core CPUs, etc. And now our LBS can move faster and perform better. And this is not the only time it will upgrade. There is another time it will upgrade, and it gets fucking huge. Like it is humongous. I got it for at for Kaz, Kami, Kaz, Amy, and Van all have their upgrades now. It's just a matter of eight. Van is not at um. Van is not at level twenty yet because I purposely held him off so I could do the rest of our um, missions with him. And why did I not do the one that is in the shopping center while I was there? Well, it doesn't matter. We're already at this place, so we'll start at the very bottom floor. So the first one to do will be Lost Property. Ricardo, first port. Lot, hmm. Ricardo's the name of an Inazuma 11 player. I wonder. But th th that aside... Um, all I did for the grinding was I just went up to every NPC that had a double battle because that's the quickest way to grind and I just fought them all four times just because I don't know I just like fighting them all four times consecutively and I got a good chunk of medals out of it And then I eventually got the Achilles armor. I didn't realize I had pulled the chest on screen and Yeah, apparently I did and it was just really easy getting the Achilles 2 armor from there in fact I didn't get the new weapons, but the Achilles 2 armor was like just taking hits left and right because since, you know, it is of higher level machinery, I guess it can just take hits from everything I was grinding against, which is good. So this guy's looking for um, a letter, I think, and we can go to this missing board right here. Lost and found notice board. Found. There are three new items that have been found recently. A bulldoze horn, a soccer ball, pink envelope. Well, I know which one to look for, but let's go bulldoze horn. A horn from a bulldoze. Painted strange. It's looking sharp, cool, and ready for battle. Please remember to be safe and follow the rules in battling LBX on school grounds. Students who break the rules will have their LBX confiscated. There is zero tolerance policy. Be warned. If you think this is yours, please come to the uh, staff room. Now, believe it or not, if I remember correctly, that would be um, the bulldoze horn. I believe that is Gabe's bulldoze horn. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is Gabe's bulldoze horn. Which, I question how he lost it. I do, but apparently he did. I don't know which room I was supposed to go to. I wasn't paying attention. I know it's on the second floor. I think it's this one, right? Is it this one? Or did I go to the wrong place? It's this person. Yes, it is. Cool. Hmm, what's up? You want to talk to me? The lost and found notice board? Oh yeah, that envelope about that, did you really? I guess it's okay, it's not my place to stick my nose in your business. Here you go, your pink envelope, trying to drop such intriguing things. I mean, it's not mine, I'm just doing it for a quest because these quests just yield so much money and I'm already about to get the Kunoichi Ni armor to its full extent. I'm kind of hope, all I'm missing now is the head. So I'm really hoping I can just get the head and then once that's done, I can move on to my hunter armor, then I can start fishing for the real rewards as in their exclusive weapons that even if you guys don't want me to use, again, I will use it in my spare time because frankly, grinding doesn't matter about your weapons. So I will just end up using it in my spare time regardless. How, how did it go? Do you found it? Yeah, here, have your love envelope. Yes, that's it. Now hand it over. Pink envelope. I want it back. I was worried about it for there. You didn't read it, did you? Oh, the heart sticker was still intact. Yep, it's a love envelope. I don't know who it's for. 
But hey, he gave us 4,000 credits. That is, I think that puts me to just enough to buy the rest of Amy's kit. Oh, barely under. I just need a little bit more money so I can buy um, the uh, rest of Konoichi Ni by pure luck and hope that I actually get it. Okay, let's see, who's next? By, by the river, search request, my new weapon, say no for me. Okay, say no for me is really quick. And then I believe it's helped me battle on the last ones in the school. So, I'm just trying to like get these done because my plan for these quests are to do them every three, not th every three episodes, every three, um, well, I guess like, yeah, every three episodes of game, not every three episodes of upload. So like the next three episodes from now aren't going to have quests in it unless it's a quest I really want to do. I went too far up. So yeah, unless it's a quest I really want to do, I'm not going to bother, um, like, uh, doing them until that three episode mark. Just because I can. I believe it's room two you're in. Unless it was the other room I saw her in. Is it this one? It is this one. So say no for me. Basically, it's a quest where you have to say no to a girl who I think is infatuated with a guy against his will. I don't exactly remember. But point is, you go up to her. Tell her not to bother him. She doesn't care. But she gives you a toy medal, which you can sell for more money. Literally, this is the easiest thing I can do, just to, uh, make absolute sure I get my rewards that I deserve. Then comes, uh, Help Me Battle On, and then we have one, two, three, four more quests. Got it. Apparently we have another one from Terrence, the guy that we gave his, uh, sword back to in the last episode, so I greatly question, did he lose his sword already? What happened, and why is he dumb? But Help Me Battle On, I believe you, it's the third floor first room and he should be at the very back of the room if i remember correctly and you actually get to take him on in a new stadium right well i can see him that's for damn sure yep you get to take him on in a new stadium that we've never seen before so let's see which one is oh i forgot to show up the dial -up. okay you know next we're going to the um shopping mall because there's three there's two quests i have to do my voice crap here that there's two quests we have to do there and then there's something i want to show off so we're gonna go back to there after this coliseum he has a trooper Kind of like Kaz Hunter. Oh, I'm so... Wait, did I show off Kaz Hunter on screen? I did. I did. I remember now. I don't remember because I'm literally recording this after I uh, got everyone to, like, high enough levels. So, let's see how fast I can kill him. Oh, boo-hoo. He lives. Also, apparently you can kill someone within... If you kill someone within a certain time limit, the music will still play for, like, at least 10 seconds. I believe you cannot win for 10... within the first 10 seconds and then automatically go to the next screen. It has to wait 10 seconds before it's official, which is weird. I don't know ex the exact timing. I just know I've done it before. But again, I can't do that consistently when I'm standing up. Um, he's glad that we helped him. And he gave us a free corkscrew lance, which is nice. It is a better Achilles lance. I'm not going to go for the smarter weapons, though, because my mind is this. If I'm not going to be able to use the stronger armors, I'm not going to use the alternate weapons because, um, you know, it's fair, especially because I'm going to try to stick with story stock. Now, if you guys want me to use the uh, in effectively better armors so that I can make it slightly easier on myself, then cool, I will do it without a second doubt and I will actively spam to maybe get the cheer on spear in Atlas Shield just to make it again easier. I don't know. I probably won't do that far because, um, it would just be cheap to do that, you know, considering how easy it is, or like how easy it would make the game. But speaking of which, before I go do, actually no, we'll do Hector's quest, then we'll hit the other two things I want to do, because they're both right next to each other. So first up, we'll do Hector's quest. Where is he? Oh, there's actually a lot of uh, quests here, because there's also the my new weapon. So I guess we'll do Hector's quest, my new weapon, Terrence's quest, and then the thing I want to show off. Even though I've actually never done Terrence's second quest. Or at least I don't have recollection of doing his second quest. Which means it might be something completely different. But Hector here, he's just an adult struggling in the world. And he wants just to have fun. So we're going to take him on in a battle. And we've already fought on his field before. I believe it's the one from earlier, the Oasis. Which I never got to talk much into. Like I said earlier, every field has um two one subfield. Like the Desert Oasis is the subfield. In my mind, it's the subfield of Savannah. I mean, not Savannah, the uh, the place we fought Pharaoh in. I'm just going to call it Egypt because that's literally what it is. Um, the Savannah field that I was just talking about, I that's the only field I cannot think of that, do, that doesn't have like an alternate option or like a subsection because there's a field later called Antarctica that has a subsection that I will actually show off in training mode. And then that jungle field that we saw before, 
with when we fought the hands of ponds that is a subsection of the um field with the waterfall that we also saw earlier so you know we're, we have a lot of subsection fields i think savannah is genuinely the only one that doesn't have it because i also know there's the lava there's a lava field actually you know what that might be where it would because there are a total of three lava fields so maybe the extra savannah field went to the lava field which makes sense yes there is a lava field Oh, and wait, the Roman Ruins. Roman Ruins might not have an extra one to my memory. I don't remember if Roman Ruins has an extra one. But that doesn't matter. Next up, we're going to go my new weapon. Because apparently we're going to help someone break in their new weapon for some reason. And I'm just showing off what Vance is capable of. I should probably show off what Achilles 2 is capable of. I could. But, nah, I'll show off what Achilles 2 is capable of in, a, in the match I'm going to do after this. Because why the hell not? And then after this, we'll have one more quest left, I think? Maybe. I'm not so sure. And then I'll try to get Konoichi Neo on screen again. But it's this guy. Oh, speak of the devil. He actually happens to have a Roman Ruins field. Or does that mean we're battling on the Ro Roman Ruins field? Eh. But I guess the other thing to say is, I guess now I can break down into um, story. Or at least some of the things I like from the story. Uh, we don't, we're using Jungle Falls. Why am I disappointed that? I like Jungle Falls. Anyways, I guess I can break down into the story about, like, Hunter and Kaz. Because, as you know, um, Kaz is... Well, yes, me and Amy are gonna definitely be an important part of the plan to, you know, save people. Um, and distract the sniper for Kaz. Kaz, in the end, has to make the final shot. And Kaz also has to make sure, you know, the Prime Minister and no one else gets, uh, you know, put to sleep forever. If we're gonna word it one way, that might allow me to get monetized at some point if this video ever does we get the pay because that fuck you gets the capabilities of being monetized um so you know that's a thing also that was the item i was talking about earlier that uh gives you better stats I, it might just raise attack but i know it raises speed because there's no way i get that much faster in it and it was involved in the process but whatever so you know kaz has to um train very much to do his thing oh we got iron daggers Oh, well, that's cool, so it's a better version of Amy's Kono Konoichi die, but exactly what I said earlier, I'm not changing the weapons just because they're better. But anyways, because Kaz has to practice so much, I like how they take it where Kaz has the most pressure of the group, because in generality, he genuinely does. If he doesn't succeed, then a lot of people get hurt, and if he does succeed, cool, but yeah. And it's with his new LBX that he literally got a day before, so he doesn't really have much time to practice, and I like how he put so much effort into making sure that he was ready for it, but he doesn't feel confident in himself. He better feel confident in himself, because we need him to feel confident in himself. Now it's on to two more quests. Oh, I actually never came over here, but I'm not going to bother staying over here, because I'm going to use that time to go down here. Because there, we will end up going back over there for another quest at some point, but not right now. But for now, I'm going to show off this dial-up battle where you can fight people, and I think I may have said it before, you can change the battle box to the battle box you want to, and you will get reward drops for it. For example, if you beat Mika, she gives you the light buckler, aka the, wait, or is it the bulwark buckler? I wasn't paying attention to what weapon I got from her. All I know, it was a buckler. Either way, she gives you a free shield when you beat her. I beat her with Kaz's hunter, and I beat her before she can get to me. Now, we're going to go take on Gabe, but instead of using the savannah field we've seen before, let's take him on in the Roman ruins which we bought before so I don't remember when we bought it I just remember we bought it so let's take on his bulldoze really enough he's not using his bulldoze 4w drive he's just using a regular bulldoze but okay sure but that's fine because you know uh, we're gonna send him also I just remembered I got new special attack routines during my grinding I had gotten thunderstorm thrust and if you saw right there when I pulled it up actually if I can I really wish I can pull up the menu again. Okay, fuck you, Gabe. Okay, come on. Don't die, and never mind. Well, point is, Thunderstorm Thrust... Actually, I'll just pull it up, but... Thunderstorm Thrust is a special move where it's yellow. It's, it has a yellow marking on it, and if it has a yellow marking, that tells you that it takes time to charge up when you use it, so it doesn't activate immediately, but it has a lot more power. Except LBX has to be in such a range of it. Also, we got... God damn it, I knew I was getting a free Commando Blaster somehow, and I completely forgot how... So I wasted money on the Fando Blaster. Yes, I am like that self-conscious of money in this game. But here we go. This is the special special attack routines I've been talking about. They have this yellow little marking on them. 
and that basically means that um, they do more damage, but they take time to charge. So for Thunderstorm Thrust, it is pierce your foe with a charged up electrical strike, mid-range. So it can actually target multiple LBX at once in the same special attack routine. Granted, all of them can do that, but um, these ones are made to specifically target all of them. The other ones just kind of rely on luck for the other one to get involved. But since that one's a lot of bigger of range, that means it has to wait to charge. Okay, I actually have to read this high there. Something about drop. I need your help again. My little brother got his LBX taken away, which is great, but it seems like classmates. Now I can't win against them. What a kind of big brother can be in the LBX battle, so I... Oh, he needs a Commando Blaster. Wait, I saw the words Commando Blaster. Does he need the one we just got? Because in that case, I didn't waste money. Oh my god, thank you, game. For once, you were useful. Well, I guess we got the... I'm sorry, what? Oh, I saw what he gave us. He gave us an LBX card, which I don't know how to play the game. But I think if we go into the LBX guy, which is our only way to see LBX cards. Yep, we got an LBX card. Uh, how do I get to it? What ranking was it to the kid? Oh my god, these are so, there are so many of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, there it is. This is an Emperor Mach 3. Uh, level 140 Emperor Mach 3 card, red, rarity, normal, Inferno Knuckles, Mad Menace. Well, I have no idea what any of that means. I genuinely do not know how to read those cards at all. I've never used the LBX cards before in this game. So when the function is a thing, or when it becomes a relevant thing, then I will use it. But for now, I have no idea. And now we move on to our last quest which is I'm by the river. Why do I feel like I know what's coming and why do I feel like I can't do this quest? I don't know, I just have that feeling. And then after this, I'm gonna try one more time to get Konoichi Nia at its fullest and then if I fail, then so be it and then I'll just end the episode. So let's go to Riverside. And let's see if we can get this final quest done. Because if we can, then I've done, then I've wrapped up the quest episode. This is gonna be hell to edit because of the amount of times I had to cut this, I talked to the wrong person, but it'll be fine in the end. Cause yeah, sometimes you can always tell cause if you pay close attention to um, the NPCs in the area on the bottom screen, then you can always tell when they're the quest person cause they will randomly appear. So for example, I can always tell it's her, even though yes, I did just walk up to a random stranger and talk to him. She is never here and I would have never paid attention. Oh, anti-water S? I don't, I swear I saw an anti-water S, BS. Okay, be right back, I'm, I'm getting the anti-water S. It should be in the shop if I talk to Sadie. Yeah, Sadie, I don't know why I was trying to question her name. Actually, now that I question it, what is that on like the top there? What is that, because that's not an LBX, or at least not to my memory. Unless it's a certain LBX at a different angle, then I can see it. But that doesn't remind me of an LBX. It reminds me of, yes, a robot, but a robot from a different game. Uh, Anti-Water S. Why would you give me a quest I cannot fulfill? Damn it. Oh, wait, unless it's in maintenance gauge. Nope, it's not, so. Uh, unless it's in an auxiliary unit, maybe? Nope. Well, sucks for that girl. I guess I'm just not helping her, because uh, unless the quest says otherwise and I'm just looking for the wrong thing, then I think she's stuck. There is a way for me to get an anti-water S. 20. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, that ain't happening. So I'll help her when I get the chance. But um, for now, let's just see if I can get a Konoichi knee. If I can get, if I can just get the head, please. Head. Give me the head. Or legs. I don't know which one I'm missing at this point. Head or no. Yes! Oh my god, that's all of them. That's all of them. That's all of them. Let's see what Konoichi knee looks like. I did it! I succeeded! And my goal! Okay, let's armor Konoichi again. Just like Achilles, I will only ever use uh, Konoichi's knee as a point of training to keep her under leveled. I will never use her to get over leveled at all in a story match unless you guys want me to, of course. And this is what Konoichi knee looks like. So, without further ado, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join Discord, follow Twitch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to battle on.